Hello everyone, welcome to FM Tahiti. Um, I'm Pelham and we're going to actually play a match now. So if you've stuck with me through the kind of introductory videos, thank you very much. Um, as I've been recording today, a few people have been following me on Twitter and sharing stuff. It's really appreciated whilst I'm getting started. Thank you for that. And yeah, like I said, thanks if you've stuck with the video so far because it's such an odd database it's needed a little bit of background information so that's why the first episode or two kind of describe the world that this is happening in but now we're actually getting on to the football manager side of it so we've got our first game of the season um i did say beforehand i would update you with any transfer dealings and staff changes this really won't take long because if we go to staff it's all staff i managed to hire one scout who's fairly professional as well which is what i wanted but that's it, one scout, which means we can do some scouting. When it comes to the transfers and players we've brought in, we've brought in nobody because it took so long for the scout to arrive that we couldn't actually find anybody. And when we look at the kind of players we're interested in now, we've got about 30 players who seem to be interested. So I'm getting my one scout out to try and find somebody. If we look by recommendation, he recommends Enrique Garcia, who is a Spanish goalkeeper at Madre de Dios, who is 41. I don't think I'll go for him, because I think my own keeper's probably okay, and I don't really want to waste the money on an older keeper who I won't be able to keep, and I could just use my young keeper and help him develop. Then there are these two, Fabrice Leclerc and Elise Clement Janin from Isla Magdalena in the Marquesa Islands. They look okay. Look at the stats. From what I can see, they, they'd both be a reasonable... Actually, maybe he wouldn't be a reasonable. Maybe Leclerc would be a reasonable um, kind of central field. Actually, I'll just put an offer in. See if I can get away with that. But that's it. Nothing else to really update you on because we just went straight kind of into it. Um, if we look at the schedule briefly, you can see who I've been playing and things like that. Beat my own under 23s, 3 0, which is good. Um, because there's no one in the under 23s, it's all greyed out. It'd be embarrassing if we'd lost. We beat Union Rimatara, uh, one of our rivals from the island over, 3 0. Uh, we lost then to Naruto, we're from the other Austral Islands. We played our two other Austral teams, beat one, lost to the other. Union Rimatara in the league with us, Naruto in the league below. And they're from the penal colony island. They're the prisoners. Then we played our under-23s again, unfortunately won, so we've had a reasonable start, but nothing too promising. The best bit of news probably so far is the fact that none of our players got called up for the Atoll Championships that are going on. So if we look at the Atoll Championships, they've played a couple of games. Tahiti are top with four points, but Austral Islands and the two Amertis Islands have also got four points as well. So maybe someone else other than Tahiti might actually win it. That's it for that. Let's actually go and play this match. We're going to be playing against uh, Terahi. Get my assistant manager to do the briefing because I never really do that. Uh, playing against Terahi. They're an island in Marquesa, in the Marquesa Islands. And their islands are pretty, uh, very small, very cliffy, very rocky kind of island. It's part of a nature reserve with. Uh, Mohatani San Pedro, so the one with the evil looking goat badge. Um, and basically, because an ecological emergency was declared because of all these feral goats and sheep and things eating off the vegetation on some of those islands like Mohatani San Pedro, a little nature reserve from a few islands was formed. So, Terahi is based on one of those nature reserves. We basically just ignored the law about the nature reserves and stuck the actual stadium smack bang in the middle of it all. Who is this? Oh, we put an offer in for this guy, Mark Ulrich, from AR Moutons, another Marquesan. I can't really see enough to know whether he's going to be any good, but I'm just kind of hoping. So he wants to be a key player, and he wants us to gain promotion next season. Yeah, I'll promise whatever to get them in at this stage. Oh, I didn't realise I'd have to do this. Uh, I can offer a lot, but I don't want to. 
don't really want to offer much more than I'm paying everyone else. In fact, yeah, just he wants three hundred and twenty-five pounds. I only get paid fifty. Look at all of this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Not going to do that. I don't mind paying a goal bonus. If he actually scores 15 goals, he'll be worth that bonus. Can't pay him this either. And that's it. That's that's that done. I'm not going to be held ransom. I can't afford to pay him that much money. I'd rather just struggle. Change my tactic if need be. Okay, so we've got Terra Heat up next. We're favourites to win this one. In the pre-season uh, odds, we were placed as being about third, so they reckon we might squeeze into the playoffs, potentially we're around that end of the table. I did have the meeting with my team beforehand, and basically I suggested we might be top half finish. They weren't happy with that, they wanted to say playoffs at least, so they're optimistic. So let's sort the squad out. We've only got one keeper, so Hamish Bennett goes in. Full back on the right, there's only one out and out. Pull back, Mark McIntyre. Uh, we could put Darren Chant there, but actually we need him in the centre, I think. I don't think we've got enough depth in the centre. On the left, it's going to be Joe Jansen. And then in the middle here, Darren Chant. It looks like he might be all right. And Sam Anderweg, who is our vice captain. Our actual captain is somebody Manuel, I think. Manuel, him, this guy. So he's fast, but he's also kind of better. I'm going to put Seth Waite on and then Manuel will come on as a kind of impact sub. On the left we could put on Sam Richards, or we could put on Jordan Naren. I'm going to put on Sam Richards just because Naren can play in the centre and that's where we're kind of weakest. And we've also got Chris Webb who can play on the left if we need. Ball winning defender. I'm sure we've got... A defensive midfielder we can put in there. Yeah, we've got Mark Michael, Michael Weaver. He's not very good. Okay, we will rethink this. It recommends Daniel Naren, even though he's an attacking midfielder. Let's put him there as the ball winner. Jordan Naren. It makes sense to swap him around because at least then if he's box to box it's going to get confusing because there's Naron in both central positions but that's fine. Targetman, they reckon Jordan Chisholm heading eight, jumping six, Zach Henderson heading eight, jumping 15. I ignore them and put Zach on. Am I? Press something wrong. There we go. Zach. Pressing forward is going to be Jordan Chisholm, who is pressing forward. And then the rest is just going to be everyone else. We don't actually have enough players to fill the bench fully, I don't think. Even with putting that grade on goalkeeper, we don't have enough. I'm going to hold off buying any, like, trying to get any grey players or anything like that, because I'd rather see if we can get someone who's real in first before I get some of the terrible, terrible grey players. So here's our first match. We're 4 4 humping 2 against what looks like a fairly adventurous um, tactic. I wasn't really expecting this. We're playing at home at the Rotorua Reef. So you can see our little stand there. I think we've just got one stand on the side, car park, and then green fields. Let's kick off. See, apparently I shouldn't say anything to ever complicate things. This is our very first match with the team at the start of the inaugural Polynesian season after the rejig, after our billionaires invest all this money. I'm pretty sure I'm going to say something to them before they go out. Favourites for a reason. Listen keenly. I don't think they respect me yet. See, whilst I do like the way some of the stadiums look generally, and I really like the fact that if you look over there you can see They've incorporated our logos and our art into creating these flags and things like that. I really like that. That's a really nice touch. But what I'm not a massive fan of is the fact that this is meant to be a tiny stadium and it looks like they've got a massive stand. It'd be better if we could kind of give ourselves a little shack or something. 
that's not a good start. So Terahim just floated the ball in from a free kick, and I don't think our defence really did anything. It's a little bit embarrassing, so one and a half minute. Yeah, our defence was nowhere there. Alright, let's change some of these things here. Let's go sideline or TV. Uh, sideline. Let's match speed between highlights can go up a bit. This will be here forever. Should do it. this between highlight speed a little bit more. Not much is happening, so we've got three shots to their two. Seven to their two. Now, yeah, this is too fast for me. So crossed it in. And that's, I thought that was in, but apparently we managed to get it wide even from there. Naren to Chisholm. Richards just needs to get it in the box, really. Or back to Naren in the centre, that's, that's fine, I guess. Chant. This isn't really the long ball I was kind of envisaging. I mean, it was good build-up, but it wasn't hoofball. Let's see if we can do something with the um, corner there. Wit gets in. Wit's really good at... Oh, Naren skies it from distance. Wit's really good at free kicks and corners, apparently, so he's going to need to be our um, set-piece taker. I don't think I've actually properly set the set-piece takers. I've set some of the routines, but not the actual takers, which I'll probably go and do, otherwise it'll ruin the routines. So we're kind of... We're shooting a lot more than them. We've not got any more on target than them, but we've just... That looked like it was going to go in as well. Still one goal down. The problem is, I don't know the players well enough yet to know who's going to be a good shout to bring off the bench. And I also don't have many players on the bench. I have fewer available to me than them currently, apparently. It seems like we're doing okay. I'm going to need to take off one of the Narrens. In um ooh. Free kicks are really difficult on football manager this year. I think the before the latest update, free kicks were probably okay. And then for me, after the last update, free kicks are really dangerous, no matter what level you're playing at. So the person putting those free kicks in probably only has like a five or six for free kicks. But each one looks pretty dangerous. Gonna be assertive. Show me something else. Three players look a bit hyped up for that. I'm going to bring on Weaver, swap these two around. Because then Weaver can play in the kind of ball winning bit, so he's, he's more likely to get the yellow card. Yeah, it'll stop me going a man down, even if I am a goal down. It'd be nice if we could win our first match, especially if we're meant to be favourites. Managed to squeeze a corner out of that. Again, our possession's high. Getting more fouls in. I know that we probably shouldn't be using it as a measure of success, but it's, it is nice to actually um, be getting stuck in, which is what I've told them to do. I told them to pass it long, but they don't seem to be doing that. But not many highlights. What have I got it set on? It's on extended. Oh, wait, it's free kick. Oh, almost. They've gone for the long ball from the keeper. Jansen's got it. Anderweg. Naren. Pass it backs and forwards. Finally, a long ball. Chisholm to nobody. Son was not ready for that. And he manages to keep it on for them. But he's done the job. For Terra instead of us. Henderson might need to come off soon then. 
Chisholm's looks slightly more lively than Henderson. Good tackle by Richards. Slid right in. He's just a left winger, so he shouldn't really be doing that. But that was terrible. There were people there as well. He could have, could have waited. So I think I've got two subs left. I'm probably going to bring on Williamson for Henderson. I might bring on Manuel for Wait unless he... Uh, he did get it in roughly to one of our players. Chisholm. Naren. I feel like we've been a little bit unlucky. I don't necessarily feel like we should have a goal. Oh. Well, I'm not going to need to substitute weight. I kind of need wingers. Do I need a box to box? Right, Manuel's going to come on there. He's going to be there. Come on, support. Williamson's going to come on for Henderson. So I'm still keeping two up front. Just a bit light in midfield. But it's okay, we'll just ignore midfield. Can't pass it around in midfield anymore, we just have to go over. If only I'd made that substitute a little bit earlier. Williamson's injured. Welcome, welcome to Ruritu. A violent and unfit. I can't do anything. I've made all my subs. This is a good start. Glad you're all here to see this. We move up to 13th position. Ooh. I think now they're probably just going to get another goal, aren't they? And make it look like they're... They've been bossing all the way through. And actually, we've got 17 shots to their 8. We've been the ones in control. We've just done nothing with it. Manuel. Chisholm. Wide. It was a good move there. I reckon eventually they might start scoring them. Good if they could score it now. Rescue a point for us, but and a wag to Chisholm. So he's running onto it. Long ball's working. Oh, he's unlucky. I think Chisholm's actually playing quite well. I don't think he's particularly clinical in front of goal, but actually he's running quite well. And at least he's when he's not scoring, he's been coming in from an angle. He's crossed it over to a non-existent target man. Wasn't far enough forward. We definitely do need an extra striker. There we go. Told you, sir. <coughs> Sorry. So that's 2-0. That doesn't really seem fair. He was relatively unmarked. He was just turned in. It's a nice goal. I mean, it's bad defending, but it's a nice goal. Down to 14th. It's a bad start. Now well that for Weaver. Weaver, long ball to Chisholm. Oh. One on one's not a strong point, Miss Chisholm. I think basically what I can take from this is I like the way Chisholm plays. Wait and Manuel were okay from what I've been able to see, apart from. Wait, got sent off. Richards can put in a good tackle every now and again, and that's about it. Yeah, nothing was coming from that. McIntyre completely missed that one. He's gone in towards the keeper, playing out from the back. Just let Brazil get it forward. I think you would have been offside anyway. Richards. Rich, I like Richards as well. He gets stuck in and actually gets the ball out. Chisholm, oh, burns through him. Oh, he should have gone on one more. He could have taken another one on. Chisholm's going to be our Ronaldo. But like original Ronaldo, not Cristiano. Oh, is that on goal? Oh, Michael Weaver. What a debut. He has managed to head that neatly into the third goal. Or did he handball it? And he looked like he handballed it in. So, one way or the other, that wasn't ending well for him. Flapped. So, 21 shots to their 10. And we were losing 3 0. If 
according to this, we've had one clear cut chance, they've had none. So it's not like we've been making a huge amount of chances. Either trying to make up for his own goal. Doesn't matter. We're losing anyway. Don't worry about it. I think this might just be the end of match highlight. I think anything useful is going to come from this. And well, it's not even like they, they need to perform so they can go and chiss them. Oh, that's a good goal. Took it down. Blast it in. I was going to say it's not like they need to perform so they get selected next match. I could more or less have to play them all anyway because I have no one else. This is all right. Down it goes. Digs it out. He's deserved a goal. First ever goal for the Humpbacks at the Ruritu Reef Stadium. He scored by Chisholm. Great in history. They also, we also got the fastest goal ever scored after one and a half minutes here. And this is also the highest scoreline that's ever happened in the stadium. Basically, because nothing else has ever happened. And this is the first time we've played here. A lot of records. Okay, so there we go. Has to be classed as a major upset. Yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, I'm going to pause here and then move on to the next match. Otherwise, this will be far, far too long. And hopefully we can do better in the next. So welcome back. I've moved forward to the next match. And the next match is actually the first round of the Inter-Island Cup. So we're playing against the Fatu Huku Corollas. So they're from the Marquesan Islands again, I believe. Uh, it's basically a coral island that this team's based on. So it looks a bit green and everything, but actually there's coral on top of it uh, rather than underneath it in the sea. Uh, because it's a volcanic island, it all got pushed up. It's uninhabited in real life, but fishermen go there quite often. And apparently there's a legend about how the island used to be inhabited and how it's beautiful and green, uh, but the sea got jealous and turned it over. So it was face down in the water, which is why there's all the coral on the top and it's uninhabited now. Don't care too much about that, I just want to crush them. But if you want to know more about the different islands and things like that, I have recorded a few videos about the different island chains and the different islands that each of the teams are from and a little bit about each of them. I've not uploaded them just yet, so what day are we on today? So it's about 21st of January, I've not uploaded them yet. I'll need to set them off to kind of render and upload whatnot overnight, but they'll be up next few days so you can go and watch them if you want there's absolutely no football manager gameplay in them it's just me using google maps to show you where all these islands are and basically go that's a beautiful island that's a beautiful island over and over again and then throw in a few facts that i've stolen from wikipedia but let's play against the corollas now we've got a few decisions to make so in the last match seth wake got sent off so he is off and we'll have to put Manuel to start. Williamson came on as a sub and got injured, so he's out the team. We did manage to sign Fabrice Leclerc, who looks not very good. Now we looked at all of his stats, he does not look very good. The fans are disappointed that we've signed him. I can't say I blame them, uh, but what we'll do is we'll put him. I was going to say put him on the bench. Yeah, we'll put him on the bench, then we'll bring him on at half time for one of the Narans. Probably. There is one other player that I've put a bid in for that has been accepted. Oh, we've only selected five out of seven. There's no one else. I don't believe there's anyone else. Oh, it's going to let us put some grey players on there. I have a rule with grey players. If I put them on and have to use them and they do well, I give them a contract. So if we end up putting on Twatter Few, Twatter, not Twatter, which I think is how I pronounced it, Twatter, or Tau. Ah, oh. Tautua? Yeah, I think the first few times I murdered that name. Fiu, we'll call him Fiu. If I put him on any scores, he gets a contract. We have put a bid in, as I said, for another player called Lemon George. He's a winger called Lemon George. I've not actually scouted him, so I don't know what his, any of his stats look like. But I just really like the name. So if the scouting comes back and he looks even half decent, he's in just because he's called Lemon George. Right, we're at home again, at the reef. So it should technically, um, come on, play our own game and we'll win. Technically it's a nice, gentle start to the season, really, two home games in front of our sparse 
home crowd. Attendances should gradually over the years get better and better if we're successful. So we might only get attendances of a few hundred um, this first few these first few seasons. But as we get better and better, there's the potential there to grow. And in some of the tests I did where I just let the game run on its own, um, some clubs in like the 70-year tests were getting attendances that would work in the championship in England. So they became big big teams eventually in some cases. So we can do it. We just want to make sure it's us doing it and it takes less than 70 years. First things first, it's four minutes in and we've not conceded. So that's much better than last time. Manuel pushes past him. That's a little small. Oh, that's a good goal. That's quite nice. Okay, maybe he should start rather than Seth wait. Takes the ball down. He looks a bit tiny compared to everyone. We've got some big players on our team there. They don't really stop him and he just pops it in. There we go. He's now our joint um, top goal scorer. Not only of the season, but of all time. It's just him and Chisholm with one goal each. Oh, Naran's going to have to come off. He looked like he was going to get sent off then. He scooped it up. He really went in hard then. Right, we had three shots then, none. I don't think we're going to win the Inter-Island Cup this year, but it would be nice to go far in it, especially because we might pick up a little bit of cash, like a tiny amount of cash, but some of it's better than nothing. We've not had many semi-long throw. Oh, Manuel got to the ball, but he just headed it straight into his hands. Richards, I like Richards. Jansen. Through ball, Chisholm. Oh, saved. Chisholm gets into the right place. He's just not clinical. Let's see if Richards can get it to anyone. Oh, apparently, Henderson was, I don't know, offside, elbowing people, making faces at the referee. Jansen to Richards. Richards to Henderson. To Manuel. Richards, oh, scrambling around there. Just realised I've no idea who Henderson is. I don't recognise that as a name of a, a player on my team because I'm not used to them yet. Richards to Anderweg. Now to Chant. Is Henderson a central defender? No, that's Chant and Anderweg. Then it should be Naren and Naren. Is he the other striker? He is, yeah, Zach Henderson. Oh, I know. Oh, no. It's going to take me a little while to get used to them. Yeah, he's the other striker. He didn't do very well last match. He was largely forgettable last match. That's why I've literally forgotten who he was this time around. And well, rifles it in. That was actually a good free kick. Oh, it looked good. More exciting. And again, we're getting ahead in the match stats. We're not massively ahead. Scoreline wise, but at least we are actually ahead for once. The whales versus the uh, fish of the corollas. Okay. Reasonable start. Assertive and please keep it going. They love that. And Leclerc on for Naren. And. There's no striker to really replace Zach unless I bring on this grey player. So I might leave that. One sub for the moment. And away back to Bennett. Boot it forward. You boot it forward. Send to Richards. Skims past him. Effortless. Nice ball into Chisholm. Cross it. Oh, penalty. That's, that's fine. That is lucky. He should have really passed that across, but he's the pressing forward and he's on attack, so I think he'll be a bit greedier. Oh, Naren. That was bad. In true kind of bubble pundit fashion, I hope we don't regret that later on. And again, I've still not set my set piece takers. I'll do that after this match. Off video, so we can get someone a bit better taking these. Richards, come on. Henderson. Blasted into the play in front of him. McIntyre to Naran. 
That would have been a good start to the half. Yeah, 5.9 for Naran after that. I think that's fair. I think one of the other great players we've got, Araneda, right winger. So we've not really got anyone else to go on to replace Naran with. Six. He's gradually getting back into it. But... Henderson rolling around on the floor. Tire booting it forward to Chisholm. Go on. Come on, Chisholm. I have a feeling Chisholm's one of those ones where he's going to end up with 10 plus shots a match, but he'll be lucky if he gets a goal. Chant. Sneaking around the back post. Again, Henderson's pretty much anonymous. Right, let's make a sub. Let's bring on a few. Twatter, as I accidentally called him. I think it's Tawatua. Tawatua. Doesn't matter too much because unless he scores, that's it. Ooh, I do have someone I can bring on for Naran. I forgot. I've got that um, defensive midfielder, Michael Weaver, who scored the young goal last match. Might maybe only bring him on if we're ahead by a little bit more. But he could come on. Richards, Manuel fighting for it. Karate chopping people down. McIntyre to few. He's going to score, isn't he? Oh, no, he didn't. He almost did. Maybe he is what we need. Jonathan Michel for them is injured. Good. A couple of my players looking exhausted and we should sub them out. There's really no real options for them. David Thomas can play central defence and left. So Janssen is tired on the left and Chant is tired in the middle. Chant's not playing as well as Janssen, so he comes off, even though Janssen's a little bit more knackered. That's all our subs. Just going to rely on them to see it out from here. Kick. Manuel's going to get sent off now, isn't he? I think to hold out for 10 minutes to get through to the next round. This video might be a bit longer than the normal match video, so I'm going to try and play two matches in every video update when it's not the off-season and whatever. Obviously I had to set up the team for the first time and show you some of the transfers, but other than that, it's merely matches. So from now on, go on, Leclerc, Leclerc. He moved into the right position. I actually am, um, the more I see the way that for you is played, to a to a for you has played, the more I've actually liked him. He's done more than Zach Henderson's done to like him a contract. But yeah, for the other um, videos after this, two games we should get through relatively quickly because there'll be less in the way of transfers and things to update you with. Go on. Clerk. really just want to see it out. Another goal would be nice, but I would also settle for absolutely no more goals from anybody at this point. Can we making, we're producing lots of shots. We did last match, but then just not getting anywhere with them. So either too many of them are... Ooh, a corner for them. Either too many of them are just bad shots, being, you know, wasted by people like Chisholm just not being clinical, or they're from too far out, so I might check and make sure my central midfielders aren't shooting from distance or anything like that. That was a very powerful back pass. And well, waits for the second ball instead. For you. Ran. Richards. Offside. Okay, fair enough. Promising. There we go, our first win, and it's in the cup, and we got it even though Jordan and Aaron missed a penalty. I'll end the episode there, thanks very much, and I hope you've enjoyed. Mm -hmm.